first tonight, a fatal officer involved shooting in Mississippi takes another deadly turn. Thanks for joining us. I'm Stephanie Skurlock. Greg has the night off. Investigators discovered the body of a woman reported to have had a relationship with Keith Cole. Cole is the man killed Thursday by a Tate County deputy. As WRED's Jessica Gertler reports, the woman was found dead Sunday after deputies conducted a welfare check. Part of the investigation is, is trying to determine whether she was in fact girlfriend or ex-girlfriend, but it's undisputed that there was a relationship between, between the two. Tate County Sheriff Brad Lance says Danielle Cook, the woman found dead Sunday in this mobile home off Highway 305, recently filed two complaints against Keith Cole, the man fatally shot Thursday by a Tate County deputy along this stretch of Highway 4, just a few miles from Cook's mobile home. One was a malicious mischief. I believe involving damage to some tires, and the second was uh, a kidnap assault allegation that we were actively trying to get to the bottom of uh, before all of this happened. Sheriff Lance says deputies had an active domestic violence warrant for Cole when he was spotted driving Thursday. The sheriff says Cole pulled off the highway, bailed out of his vehicle, and ran into these woods. According to the sheriff, Body camera footage shows Cole ran a couple hundred yards and laid down behind a tree, attempting to hide. Sheriff Lance says the deputy spotted Cole and was within a few feet when Cole jumped up. While his body was turned sideways to the deputy, the deputy could see the left hand but could not see the right hand. And it appeared that he was had his right hand in the in his waistband. Uh, and then all in one motion. Uh, he made movements that caused the deputy to believe he was in danger, so he fired his weapon and fired it twice, striking Mr. Cole twice. And Mr. Cole was uh, dead on the scene. Jessica Gartler, WREG News Channel 3. And this investigation continues. The deputy involved is now on administrative leave as the MBI investigates.